So, um, had to do that, but we're back, man, so that's cool. Here, I'll automatically switch you over. Get that. And turn this back on. Ah, here, let's open up Stray while that gets on again. Yeah, right, at least we're back for now. Thanks so much for letting me know. It, it looked fine. OBS was still open, nothing crashed. I could just see that the audio wasn't getting picked up even though I was talking and I was like, well, that's weird. Let me just come back over here to the iMac and, and chat on there. At least I had a quick opening. But thanks for sticking around. And thanks for that too cozy, Dragon. It was a little bit longer for too cozy than we expected. Let's get Stray on. But yo, Deviant Syndicate, we're playing Stray for the very first time. We're about 2.6 hours in. And we already got some achievements? Ooh, nice, nice. Alright, let's pop it on. I'm ready. Go for it. Oh, oh no, since I had to restart? Didn't technically save. So I don't know if we have to redo anything. We'll see. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Here, let me automatically switch you over here. I mean, manually. Go to the scene, turn this and this. Game uses autosave. Oh, thank God. I think it just autosaved my ass. Yeah, I, I think you're right. The autosave function. Phew, good. I think there was a few games where I had to um, manually save. I forgot what games those were. All games are so different. Okay, we got auto saves at checkpoints. Perfect. Okay, so this was the last place that I was at. Uh huh. Oh, and I was trying to make my way to the next building, so that's even better. Let's jump up here. And I want to go. Oh. We got like a Resident Evil perspective here. It changes it completely. I want to go up that way. So, since the angle changes, we cannot jump where I know we can reach. But we did have a memory down there at that poster, and it looks like we didn't get that saved, so we'll go down there. Oh, you fell asleep? Hey, welcome back. We had to restart. Uh, PC kind of did a weird bug thing where it kind of disables my USB stuff, such as keyboard and mouse. So we had to restart just a little while ago. And hey, welcome back. I hope you had a good nap, quad damage. Oh yeah, we cat gaming? Oh yeah. Double cat gaming. We got one behind chat. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, the simple AI nearly imitated human art. Now, this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. And yes, don't play like I do. Hi. I forgot to say hi to you. I'm pretty good about remembering everything. But yo, I said hi in chat, but hi. Welcome. I hope you're doing well, too. So, we're missing one notebook, and I'm pretty sure it's up there in that last lit building. So we might have to make our way another way. And I see pipes right here. Here. Follow the pipes. Ooh, that's too high for me to reach. Seems like more of a sure thing, but... Here, let's explore this way. Dead end... Hmm. Oh, you're having leftover pizza? You know what? We have a little bit more leftover pizza. I wanna go up right here. And... Up on the... What's this called? A canopy. Yeah, canopy. Over here, with that, and jump up. Oop. Oh. Not there. Can we get up higher? Yes, yes. Okay. Just find the perfect ledge. Right here. Aw, uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for your time. Anyone's time, man. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh, oh wait, that was the first one we went in. Hmm, this is some pretty good thinking music. Alright, install software later. Let's open up my 
It'll be a sublet. Oh, I'm getting it open right now. Here. Connect. Alright, cool. I can't decide on dinner here? Hmm. Am I going to the antenna now? I want to get up there. And I think that's the way. Oh, there's an elevator. Wait a minute, there's an elevator there? And someone talked about an elevator not working, so I doubt that works. But yeah, up there. You having Don Air Pizza? You hear it's Canadian? Yeah, I've never heard of it. But you've also heard uh, Donner in the UK? Yeah, I think most uh, common ones here are, of course, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Little Caesars, Domino's. Domino's is good. Papa John's is awesome, too. They're all good. I love all pizzas. You cannot discriminate. Cheap pizzas, expensive pizzas. They're all yummy. Really? Yeah, you never heard of that. Well, quad damage pizza. You can never go wrong with pizza. Unless I could get onto his roof up there. And maybe we can have access, but I think that's that's kind of far. That's a far reach. I don't think that's the way to go. Alright. Jump up, kitty. And camera off. And that one too. Let me get a higher perspective here. I mean, maybe. There's no lights up there, so I don't actually think so. But if we could get in through that lower window, just above that roof, then we could go up there, where the antenna are. What's Steph trying to do, chat? Let's see. I'm trying to find the last notebook. Last notebook, and my gut says it's up there, but I mean, it might not be. Sometimes my gut's wrong. Hmm. Hmm. It's the only one with lights on, though. Can't open here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that was this guy. Hmm. Elevator? Uh, let's check out the elevator. It's where all those people are. Okay. Well, I guess they're robots. They're not people. There's a Persian restaurant you get delivery from that does chicken kebab sandwiches. Yum. I don't think I've ever tried any Persian restaurant. Oh? Huh? I don't remember seeing that. Translate? Here. What's this? Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. Ancestors? Green and blue? Like sky and plants? Anything else in here? This one too. I missed out on this. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left the city. Our home is their legacy. The soft ones? Humans? And another one here. Translate. The ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. The star? The sun? Okay. Good information. And that's just to walk on. All right. Used to have a lot of Persian braised lamb. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I wonder what kind of flavors Persian food is. There used to not be very much variety around here whatsoever. So when we lived in Austin, there was so much more variety. It was cool. It was great. Yo, Quad, am I right? Do we need to go up there? <laughs> is that the way, Quad Damage? the far upper antenna stuff. Hmm. 
Oh, it looks like little XD eyes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Nah, yeah, you can't remember? Got you. Figured I can ask, just in case. <laughs> Okay, so we went in that one over there. I'm pretty sure we did. Looking for any open windows. I forgot to say, your co-worker's Persian and she used to work in a Persian restaurant. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. Getting those flavors right of any sort of dishes. I can make a really good enchilada sauce out of dry peppers. I'm pretty proud about that. I'm kind of- I'm kind of proud of a, a lot of little dishes my mom taught me. Hmm... It's almost like cutting meat from- Okay, I have seen that. You know what? We might have had a place, uh, that had Persian food. There's a little street vendor in, like, a, a bathroom stall looking thing that gave us free food once and we paid him back the next day. Oh, yo, Decipher! Hey, Decipher! Thanks so much for the raid, man! I hope they had a good stream. Yo, welcome! We're playing Stray. Right now, I'm just trying to find one last piece. We need to find the last notebook. There are three out of four notebooks. So, I'm just trying to find out which building we gotta break into, and I'm thinking that one up there. You know? It has a light. The light shows you the way, right? Yo, yeah, little rage, mega monkey. Pom pom girl. I hope that everyone's doing awesome, man. Welcome. I hope that your internet stayed well and connected for you to cipher. I hope you had a good long stream, too. I know that you've been doing some longer streams, so that's actually really cool. I think a lot more people are able to catch them now. Oh, hey! Thanks so much for the follow! Maxim Hugo! What? Four? Four hours? What? That's insane! No drop frames? That's almost five hours! I've never been there for a five-hour stream. You needed to make your first moment badge for that, man. That's That's cool. Your hands didn't get tired? Make sure you go rest them. It's probably why you stopped, right? Yeah, let's jump over here. And yo! And pool! I hope that it's going nice. Cool emotes you got there. Take those awesome. Can we cross the, the, the clotheslines right here? I don't think this cat can tightrope walk, right? Your ears hurt. You know what? My ears were feeling weird yesterday. Do you ever hear yourself really loud? You know? You're talking, you start hearing yourself co coming in and out loudly. I was suffering from that. It was weird. Yeah? Yeah, I've always had ear problems. Tinnitus sort of shit, you know? I just become so used to it that it's, uh... I don't even... I don't even know about it anymore. <laughs> I'm just used to having some sort of, like, back noise in my brain, I guess. The cat when they're looking into camera? Yeah, right. You can turn it around and stuff. The eye reflections are really good. I think it's awesome. But yeah, first time playing this game, trying to figure it out. A lot of things are not always so apparent to me. You know. But we're, we're quick with Tycho. Yeah, we might be chill and slow paced. I like to keep it casual, actually. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun, man. And hey. Thanks again for the raid. Really cool of you. Go rest your ears. I'll catch you around, man. Hey, Matt, can you give the cypher a shout out, please? That'll be awesome. And you'll pom pom girl. I hope you're having a really chill day. And everyone, like I said. And if I forgot anyone's names, I did not mean to. I'm just a cat. I'm just an orange cat. Being an asshole, knocking shit off of the rooftops, because no one's going to stop me. Yeah, let's, uh... Ventilation power supply. Thanks, bot. Here, I want to jump up here. And jump up here. Oh yeah, and I have to restart my stream a little while ago. My keyboard and mouse were uncontrollable. There was no choice but to just reset. Oh, I'm so sure we could just jump on that roof and jump over. We're missing something, man. Yeah, this game came out last year, so it's pretty new. I tried to avoid any gameplay, but I was really attracted to it. I knew I wanted to play it as soon as it came out. I hear something moving down here. 
It's the fan. Oh, that means that we get this back. Hey, if we can get this back. Can we power something else here? All right, so earlier when I played, this kind of like bugged through a roof. So I couldn't get it back. But now that we have the power supply, man, there's got to be something around here. Puzzles tend to stick together, right? I think my problem was venturing too far. Can we take it down there? Do we power the elevator with this? Because see, look, they're talking about this elevator here. The lights work. Maybe it's just missing this tiny little fuse box. All right, the cat is really cute. We have one chilling right here, too. He's an orange cat as well. His name's Topaz. Oh, it looks so inviting and easy to get to. See the scaffolding. The scaffolding looks really possible, but there's no way to get up that high. Unless, here. Somewhere down there, there's spikes everywhere. The kind of spikes that they put so birds don't chill on their signs. And so cats don't climb. Hmm. Ah, I guess you just gotta go down there. The only way. Let's go. A cat with a fuse box. Watch out. We're dangerous. Let's ride the bucket down. Wee. <laughs> How about the robot? Oh, you know what? I had to drop it in order to talk to him. So that was where I actually lost this. But he was just around right here. Behind a sign somewhere. But that was actually where I lost it. Oh, if we can access another shaft, that would be awesome. Hmm. Oh, hey, here. Here he is. See, um, let's see. We drop it right here. Sir? Wake up. Wake up, please. We brought you power. Nah. You would see his outlet sticking out. Here. Good window buttons. No, I think I just missed something that's pretty obvious. Doesn't that look like an Obadoba face right there? Obadoba. Wishlist it now. There is a note location right across from Momo's, if you remember correctly. Gotta find his prongs. <laughs> True. His prongs would be sticking out if we were meant to power them up. Yeah. Alright, so Momo's is... The bright orange one, which is right up there. So that's Momo's. And the one location right across was right there. So that's where we found the second notebook. And the third notebook we found by accessing... Oh, by cutting off the ventilation. So we dropped through where the fan was. So now we just need one last one. A Japanese pink scorpion. Moon. A nice Scorpio moon. Yo, thanks so much for the follow. Hope it's going really nice. An M full 88. Appreciate that too. Thanks for the follow. Look at the star constellations though. They're just like circles. AI generated constellations, man. This is our future. When we live underground. See, now that I'm like right here. That arrow just makes me want to go that way. Maybe we can light up that sign? With my fuse box? Right? Maybe? You think it was a window entry? Yeah. So the first one? That one right there? Yeah, window entry. So the, uh, the last one you're mentioning that we're looking for needs to be a window entry too, huh? Alright. Uh, let's look for prongs. Anything here? Window. Oh, look. This side. Can't jump on that side. Here. And now, we actually did try to go down there. Look, the ball's set up for the hole again. We need to try to put it in there. I feel like there's a secret achievement or something. 
Look, someone's living in here. There's smoke coming out of it. This would be the type of place humans would lock themselves to safety. For generations while Earth recovers from a meteor strike. You know what? I've seen that movie. That's true, though. I think that we would take underground and become mole people. Because I was actually reading, you know, um... The thoughts about living on Mars and stuff, there has been no tests to see um, how it would be like living in different gravity on our bodies. So they were just talking about like we would just need people to volunteer to be long-term test subjects if we ever want to venture out there. Here, let's just come back in here and look at places from different angles. Yeah, everything's so pretty in here. We came in through here, we went around. Look for any more clues. We got a computer. Postcards. 80s wallpaper. Lots of cool little screens everywhere. Oh, cute kitchen. Is this a little a little fridge too? Yeah. Yeah, safety. I, I thought so. It looked like safety. Alright, honestly, hey, it's the same four robots. If we know which robots we already got the notes from, then we just have to look for the face of the last one we're missing. But who knows if they're even here anymore? I think they're all dead, man. B? Oh my god. Oops! Sorry! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Alright, this is number two. Hmm. Look, there's antenna everywhere here. And there's a bunch of antenna up there. Is there a connection? Yeah, basically this is 2012 the game. You can clearly remember they were looking for about 30 or so people 15 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, I just read a, um, I read an article about it, and it sounded really interesting. Because there's not only gravitational changes that kind of, like, fuck with your bloodstream and inner workings of your body. You know, your fluids, they, they, they kind of get fucked up, I guess. Even through astronaut training, like, it's still really hard for them. But just living in that for several years, and even the, the radiation amounts. Not getting to go outside whatsoever, and just depending on spacesuits to keep you safe. They just want to kind of see how it's going to be like. They weren't like really asking for volunteers, but they're kind of just like reading through the comments. People are just kind of like, well, this is what it's going to come down to, man. Let's go down. Jump, kitty. So yeah, the story began with us living with four other cats. But I guess when we were going out one morning for a hunt or something, I kind of slipped and fell off a pipe. And so all my friends are waiting for me up there and I fell down here, came across these guys, and I'm just trying to discover all of their story. They were scared of me at first, so they all ran away. And they sent out like this pyramid head silent three alarm sound. And I finally got them to trust me. Not finally. It didn't take much convincing. They're nice enough. So now we're just... Puzzle solving. <laughs> Here, turn off Topaz. Hmm. You do look like a little Zerk, from far away at least. Yeah, but these guys were being selected? Really? So it was a real thing? Back in 2012? Oh, they look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. So I don't, I don't have anything to show him. Alright, let's pick up my fuse box. Oh, you hear the note is near the library roof access? Let's go. The note is near the library. Oh, I don't know if I've come across a library. I'm trying to think. Let me look at my inventory. Drop it. Inventory. Okay, we have a poncho. We got memories. We don't have a map, right? We have no map of the area. Alright, we gotta carry a mental map. Alright. Library. I'm trying to think of a, a place where I saw a lot of books. I think Momo's had a lot of books. 
So let's go back up to Momo's, and it's a bright orange one that we were just at, right up there. Maybe they got the people and already there, the project got chopped. I'm sure that they're working on it. I'm pretty confident that they would be. Wait, it crashed and burned? The idea, the Mars one? I haven't been in here. Oh! A new place! Oh my god, thank god. So this is the bar. Oh, we might find what we need to here, thank god. I'm glad I explored somewhere. Meat? His name's Carl with two A's. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Hmm. Oh, lucky cat. Take sheet music? Nice. You can give this to the artist. The guitarist artist. Hey, books. Whoa. My face almost went into the wall there. I think there's something about a lucky cat. If the left arm is up, I think it's good fortune. And if the right arm is up, maybe good wealth. Remember. Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. Do it. Lick it. Robot food? I'm just dipping my little chin fur into it. <laughs> Meow. So cute. Oh. Yeah, get in there. I'm a crazy cat. Put them all in the hole. What if we get an achievement for it? You know what? For being robust, there's a lot of beer bottles everywhere. Unless it's oil. Hey, maybe it's just oil bottles, right? Is that wrong for me to assume that robots drink oil, though? That's just based off the cartoons I've seen growing up. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Roof letter. Hello, Barkeep. Hey, he looks familiar. His name's Jacob. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Everything. Do it all, Jacob. I can't talk to you? Too much oil. Siuba. It's called Siuba. Siuba. And this? <laughs> I want to read everything. What's this called? Is this wine? Montepellier. 2017? It's aged? Whoa. Full TV feedback. I love it. Mm -hmm. And look at the time. It goes up to 16 o'clock. Yeah. Gotta be something we can knock down or look at, right? And we look closely, I have a bad habit of passing by things. Those are very obvious. Hey, there's there's no pipes under here. Do they not really use water? Oh, hello, customer. Billy, you want something? No, sorry. Sir, translate? What's that say? Translate this picture. Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. Jacob? Do you think that triggered any other dialogue with him? Interested for some drink? 
Uh, what if we show him an item? Do I have anything cool to give him? Check this out. Oh yes, everyone around here knows this symbol. It's the Outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Uh, Momo doesn't care, though. Right? Yeah. I think it's nice, too. It looks super cool. Um, but so far, we haven't really found anything. Numbers. 101. 100104. Hey, that kind of sounds like binary stuff, right? Because we have a... A little problem to solve involving numbers and binary and stuff. Change music? There's no music on. Please put some music on. Hell yeah, good. Alright, let's go back upstairs. I have a feeling we should have found a notebook. Look, the eight ball's down there. Oh, look at the artwork for that frog. Problem? <laughs> yeah, you watched it like 10 times. One of your favorites. You went through a year without internet once? Because you watched movies constantly? What movie was it? It's Arthur from Passenger. Back here. Go down. Something back here. This. Oh, it's just a scratch on. Fuck this shit up. Alright. Double checking, I didn't miss anything underneath here. Oh, that's so cute. Eight eight zero one. Okay, so I was right to remember that. It's just not. It's just not for that um combination code. Total rage! One one zero zero one one zero one one zero. Hey, does that actually translate to something? Alright, so there's clearly nothing up here. Unless hey, can we go through Alright, that's where we came in from. I'm not ready to go out yet. Here. I wanna go out here to the front door. Oh, and we need my, my fuse box. Oh shit, I almost left it here. Down red kinda crazy. <laughs> oh, Badoba, you saw that smiley face. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna knock down those books. Can I knock them down? No. Usually, um, a few things are exposed if you topple over a tower of them. Alright. I don't see anything. I'll keep this place in mind, though. Let's get my little fuse box and continue on my way. Yeah, should be in a window. I'll just look for open windows anywhere. Like you mentioned, Quad. Look, can we go in here? Oh, over here? It's like a shortcut. I don't think I've been on this side before. I'm gonna look around before I jump and get stuck somewhere. I wonder if it ever turns daylight here. It's been night the whole time. Maybe the AI just prefers it nighttime. Okay, I've been up here on this side. I remember that ball. Any other open windows I have not accessed? Check. Whoa. Oh man, we sent that flying. Whoops. Oh man, there's a stack of antenna there, but I don't know if that's just decoration. Yeah. Clearly decoration. Open window. Right there. I have not been through those areas. Hmm, should I try to go there? It's a lead. It's better than nothing. Yeah, if I can get inside that house, that would be cool. 
here. Let me see if there's a, an open window on this side. So it looks like we can walk around it if we can gain access there, but I don't think we could jump that far down. Jumping and turning a corner is something I feel like I can't do yet. Yep. Let's try that. Have I tried that before? B popped up to talk to Sleepy Guy. Oh, wait. That was in the bar? Yeah, yeah. Was that in the bar just now? Post the link of, this, of uh, the song in Discord. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right, here. Let me go back to the bar. This will be a test is to see if I can actually navigate back to where I was. But I go now I'm trying to find the library. But I stumbled across the bar when exploring. But the library? The only place I could think of that had a lot of books was just Momo's. Oh. Go down. Bar. Barring library. Oh shit, let's read the signs. Oh my god, it dropped. Water Man, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. No, none of them are a library. Here, let's come up through the skinny alleyway because I feel like I haven't been through here. Wait, have I talked to you? Hey. Rosie. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. You are correct. We don't age like our soft one ancestors, and we're trapped here forever. Ooh. Yo, Dusk G. Thanks so much for the follow. You need something? Or you need something? Or you needed something. Maybe you will need something. Like I said, time is weird. <laughs> Maybe I should show him something here. He's just sitting here in a corner thinking about time. Show item. Nothing that interesting. You think he wants a poncho? I recognize Grandma's style. She's very talented, you know. What about this? Oh yes, everyone around here knows this symbol. It's the Outsiders. They live on the upper floors of the area. You could probably talk to Momo. Yeah, we'll go talk to Momo once we find all the books. Hey, you love this game? Ooh. You know what? I've been loving it too. I've been wanting to play it. Right now I'm looking for the final notebook area and I'm carrying this fuse box around because I feel it's going to help me <laughs> access somewhere. So we're currently looking for a library. That noise. Did you hear that? <coughs> Sounds like some tiny meowing somewhere. I I don't think it's. Oh, here. Let's just go. Hmm, here, let's uh, read this sign. Maybe it'll say something. <laughs> ah, same. Same. Alright. You feel like it's common from, uh, from behind the guy sitting? Oh, yeah, it's coming from behind the guy sitting, right? Like in this, uh, inside this door. It's hard to tell which building it is. All about the perspective, because once we're up there, things look a little bit different from street level, you know? Maybe there's a way inside here. Wait, have I talked to you? Yeah, yeah, this guy. We know this guy. There's no way inside here, right? Here. You can climb up those kegs. Go across this, but I don't think I need to. Here, let's do the cake thing. Or oil drum thing. Oh, 
Uh huh. Yeah. Maybe it was a bird, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I am down. Yeah. I'm super down. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. We, we talked to him. He has a name, so we talked to him. <laughs> we pushed X to pick up the, the, the little box, but we decided to take a snooze instead. That's cute. Get up, the ways. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh shit, okay, let's walk on the far side of the box here. There's a light up blue sign right next to the window entry. Second or third, okay. I, I've seen the blue sign and it looks like it has a face on it. That one. So, through that, gotta be this sign, right? So I was right to think accessing that area would be good. But going downstairs, I, I got so distracted. Everything's just <laughs> so pretty to look at, man. Very distracting. But I love it. Yeah, right? Okay, so... Alright, so it's the building next to this guy. Like, the leader of the pack. Just remember that once we're down there, if we ever get lost. Open window. I would say at the very top. Wait, you see the window? I see that one. No? <laughs> Maybe it's a door. I mean, it doesn't have to be a window, right? We gain access through a fan, so maybe there's like a pipe or something that leads into it? Like... Something like that? That's not it, but, um... I'm trying to keep an open mind about different ways. Alright, so to get over there, we gotta go around. Uh, let's go up, so we can jump on to that roof. And around. Alright, so this. Oh, I have been in here. Yeah, yeah, we've been in here. We get in through the, the top, yeah. So, from the library. Oh shit, it fell down. Okay. Oh, there's another blue screen? Okay. Very red light lit up area. Okay. Oh, we can go get back out through where we came in from here. We'll go through the window here. But no other clues then, right? In here? Alright, we get proceeding onwards. Opposite side of the map and left from this apartment. Hell. Okay, so opposite side. Let's go down. Yay! Okay, so opposite side. I'm gonna say all the way. That blue one, right? Maybe up there. More left. Oh, I hear those weird noises again. Oh, maybe it's their lucky cat there. Oh, more left, he says, so let's stick to this side. Try to find the blue sign. Oh, look how cute!
Oh, hey. Oh, 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 shit, I was just trying to turn around. I didn't mean to smack my ass into it. Mm. More left, but let's just come up here. I'm going back to Red Atlas. But maybe I'll see the sign a little bit more clearly up here. Oh, the red AC unit with a flower growing. Okay, what was it? Red AC unit with a flower, flower growing. Red AC unit. A little bit more to the left of that blue one. Red AC unit. If we climb up here. Red AC unit. Mm hmm. Yellow one. Slowly pan around. Red? Those are red. Oh! Look, there's some plants, but they're not growing outside of, um... No, you didn't see it on my screen or anything. Maybe it's the blue screen. Like this one right here, right? Jump, kitty. Yeah. Oh, there's no reserve sure for jumping. There we go. No, stay up. Right there. And across. It's death high. You try wandering around the roofs? Okay, cool. Maybe at least around this side. Jump up here, kitty. No. Well, take sheep music. Hell yeah. Good. Alright, so can we climb up anymore? Oh, look, right here there's a, a memory or something. X. Oh, no, I could just scream. And what's that sound at the door? What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. Wait, wait. People in there. Hmm. <laughs> but, okay, so that's connected to here. How do we get them to open it? Unless that was just extra dialogue and, uh... Don't have to fixate on it, but it's... <coughs> Meow with them until they open the door. <coughs> Let me in, help! <coughs> it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Are they opening the door? No. Explore the roofs. It's definitely high, so let's get higher. Let me get higher. Way up there. All right. But let's see. With all of that in the way, there's no way to cross it. So let's route different pathway. Exploration. Just stay high. Wait, are those prongs right here? No, okay. I thought that was a fuse box that we needed to activate. <laughs> fuse box. Down. Oh, it sounded like I hurt myself. Ouch. Um, up here. Right there. It's 100% on a balcony with a blue sign, but you can't get into the balcony. Not that blue sign. We already discussed that. That window's closed. But yeah, we've been in here, right? We've been in here. Oh my god! 
It is a library. No wonder I didn't know where a library was. Damn, this is... Someone's really taking good care of this place, man. Oh my god. That took way longer than it should have. Thanks for the patience. Thank you so much. I'm glad this game is so beautiful, too. There's definitely so much to explore and just look at. We found it. We finally found it. <laughs> Thanks so much, God Damage. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. This guy was studying, huh? No money. Oh. Take some more sheet music. Oh! Hmm. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute if I sneeze. Oh, I did it. I guess it's just kind of dusty in here. Dusty books have quite the smell. Just overlooking, making sure I cleared everything. All right, jump down, kitty. Oh, nice. Go around all these books. All these books. We're not gonna miss a single thing. Yeah, I got a, lot, a bunch of old books from my childhood. And they just... I don't know, they really do have this smell, man. They really do. I don't know what it is. I guess the paper that they used back then. Or mold? Wait a minute, could it be mold? Nah. <laughs> That's gotta hurt on the buttons right there. Oh, interesting. Bad kitty? Yep. You're bad. No one's here to tell me no. Ah, we're on this joint now. Mine. One last stack of books, come on. Alright, so we uncovered something right here. Right? I thought I saw a little point of interest. Oh! Hey, Doc. I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Game key item. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Thanks, Jess. I always think this is a lava lamp. It's a cone lamp. <gasps> Hi! AI arts. Early AI arts. Oh no. We're in the phase of early AI, art, AI arts. So that is... Future AI art. No interesting books here, huh? We just kind of made a mess. It's gotta be something else that we could possibly move. Translate again. Down the key to your safe. You need to be more careful. Alright, so we gain a key. Find a safe in here. This safe's already been open. Now look at how many monitors there are. I have one right now. Do you want to see it? It used to belong to my dad. Look, let me show you on Topaz's camera. Here. Here, since we're, we're talking about monitors. Look, I have a little tiny one. Topaz's camera. Let's go to full screen. Oh, I don't know if I have game music on here, so it might be quiet. Okay, cool. It's there. Here, let me show you.
have to give him a pet too. But yeah, yeah, um, that thing's really old. It has knobs and stuff on it. It would just be in the garage. It would only show in black and white too. But I asked him if I can have it. And they were like, yeah, you can have it, man. <laughs> it just reminded me of like hanging out with him in the garage. All right, get up, kitty. Let's go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty old. I think it's in from even earlier. I think it's a uh, military grade. He said that it was like one of the very first ones that you could travel around with. So it was uh, one of the first portable TVs, but it's kind of like a, it's really small, like a smaller than a dollar bill. I mean, dollar bill is like six inches. I'd say it's about a four by five screen, four by five inch. So stay on track, step, stay on track. We're looking for a safe and I'm thinking the safe is in here. I'm assuming it is. Yeah, we had to pet the kitty. When he looks up at me like that, especially if I'm walking by, I, I need to, man. Alright, so let's check out the inventory really fast. Another key. We have to find what it opens now. I know, but is it in here? <laughs> It has to be. Hmm. Another October 11th door. Hmm. Hey, we have a light bulb like that. Behind them books. That's not a book. <laughs> oh, I didn't knock down this this last tower of books. Shit. No, it, it right now it's helpful. Yeah. Oh, this, 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 this. E nice. Especially if I ask, because I definitely asked. I'm like, all right, there's a safe in here. And it's definitely verified. So thanks so much. Hey, nice. Thank you so much, Fit Bill. That's super cool of you. Hey, and congratulations again. Super exciting, man. You said in October, right? October wedding? All right, here. Let's use this. Ta -da! Uh, meow. Meow back to you. Nice, we found it. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the certs on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found the design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If Ed can communicate with the upper levels, then that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Alright, cool. Over and out. Registered. Alright, now we can go talk to Momo and show him all the books and help him, like, make the transceiver and... We escape Fu And go back to our family. Hell yeah. Yeah, like I said, Claude, thanks so much. Yeah. Alright, Momo is straight over there. So, I think down should be good enough. Let's see. It sounds like someone's doing some dishes, like a restaurant. Oh, can we go up? Nice. <laughs> ah, cute. This is not where Momos is at, but I've never been up here. I feel like I can go reach anywhere now. Alright, let me go this way. By the Obadoba, let's go. Yeah, that's way, of course. Silly me. There you go. 
Momo. We're back. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Mm -hmm. I found them. That's Baltzar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. And... Take this one. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. And... Docs. Oh! It belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Limit signs, Valsar, Doc. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Yeah, he does. Now let's fix this piece of junk. Transceiver. Right now. Let's do it. He's got some pretty good style. The Monstera leaves. Hell yeah. I got a Monstera growing right next to me. Et voila, it worked. Come with me. Oh, that was fast. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Up there, see that building high above the others. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. We gained a new item. Hey, it looks like a router. <laughs> You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. And this guy. Step in our tropical paradise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. Exactly. We got we got so many little tropical plants here, even inside. <laughs> so, time to put the transceiver up top, huh? Wow, that looks like a rock climbing wall over there. Maybe the building's under construction? It looks like there's a watermark on it that says Nico. Mm -hmm. Wait, I've never been in, in this area. Oh, he left me outside somewhere else. No wonder everything looks so different. Aww. Life is pretty chill as a cat. Wait a minute. Did I see something here? Let's go! Ah, so this is the mission you thought. Roger, roger. Hmm... feel like I must have missed out on something up there. Climbing around. We'll see. This little face right here is so crazy. It looks like one of the old Spitfire logos for, like, skateboarding stuff. Rooftops, nice. Finally made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Is this a hand? Oh my god. Let's see if we can go up anywhere here. Nope. We're gonna have to go down. Those guys are there though. Oh, that's probably what happened to him. They eat through metal and skin and flesh and anything, huh? You have to be fast and push. Wee. Nice. All right, let me just look around. Oh, the infection. Yeah, that looked like some um, 
doom type of stuff right there. Nice reflective tiles. Cool graffiti. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, wait, 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 shit! Stop! Yeah! This way, and around. Now we go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. They're still following me? I think I hear them. Okay, we're good. I just heard their little pitter patter, and the thought of being chased has always terrified me. Let's go. Oh, we can't jump up there. Ooh, look at how the tree's growing out. I love it. Seeing if I missed anything down there. I don't think so, though. Alright. This way. And if we could jump on this pipe, we can turn around. Oh, this. Cute. We can't turn around and jump over there, though, can we? No, there's pots and pans in the way. Air drying. Red sign. Let's remember it. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps. Neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and, not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. But there was nothing but oppressors to do. It was like a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. The oppressors. The oppressors. Who are the oppressors? Did they make these grub-like creatures called uh, the Zorks? Zerks? Zerks, right? No other sheet music here. Neon signs, though, they do have a way of, like, I don't know, emitting this sort of light. Love it. I haven't been over there. Right? Woo! Uh, let's look around. B. Dun, 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 dun. Don't roll off now. Okay, let's get the momentum again. I wasn't looking the right way to ready my jump. No, oh, so cute. Okay. I hear another cat. Is it just in my own little kitty brain that I'm hearing them? Or are they out there calling to me? <laughs> oh, ew, what is this? All right, let's put the transceiver all the way on the top of that big building. Silver and out, let's go. Oh, uh, I might need to knock this down. Can I push it from this side? No, this is not the way. Oh, and I jump on top of this, yes. Right here. Ugh. Eat. Urgh. Ugh. Shit. Well, now I could jump down here. I hear things. They're coming? I think they're trapped.
They're jumping on the fences. They have little feet. Can I get close enough to kind of look at them? They're hissing at me. Are these like hairless cats? Ooh, okay. Min, 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 min. That's not the way, that's not the way. Pack the door, pack the door. <laughs> look, 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 look. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> pack the door. Lock the door! Lock him out! Lock him out! Lock him out! Lock him out! Oh, they're coming! We need to lock him on one side. All right, we'll do it a little bit faster. Yikes! Almost. Oh wait, they're in there. Oh, almost, almost. Hmm... That almost worked, Quad. Right? Thing is, I don't know if I should open this door so they all come here. Because once they come over here, they're going to aggro pretty fast on me, right? Try to do it fast. Nah, yeah, yeah, here. Aha! Uh -huh, I get it. Okay. Not the face, they're kind of like... Tremors or something. Alright, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. Alright, now let's get in here. Gain some access. Yeah, face huggers. What were those from? Were those from uh, the movie Alien? I was thinking Tremors for some reason, but I don't think Tremors did that. The Tremors just kind of ate you whole. Hmm. I think we gotta roll it the other way. Hold on. We rolled it the wrong way. Yeah, alien. I like Tremors. I never saw part two. I know I enjoyed part one when I saw it later. I think they even made a part three, right? Wasn't that kind of a more recent movie too? It's just the thought of like shit like that underground terrified me. Yeah, the two wasn't bad, three kind of stinks, so it only goes after three. Yeah, not missing much. Well, is there like part eight or nine? Might as well just make a series now. That would have actually been kind of cool then if they went the series route. Maybe. It depends. They could really ruin something. Yeah. Alright, I think I'll be able to get these puzzles a lot better now. I'm not as distracted um, with my remote turning off anymore. I think that was a little bit of my issue earlier. I was a little bit too distracted with that. But it hasn't happened in a while, so I'm glad about it. Yeah, two is unwatchable. Look back. Is there something lit up right here? What is this, a lamp? Um, I have my own light source, so I don't need to carry it, but I'm curious, what is this doing here? Here. 
Oh, I see it, I see it. Phew. All right. It's right there. Can I walk along the fence now? All right, so we need to access that and get my little bot to hack it, open up that gate, and go around. Why can't we just go around this way? Why do we need to go through that? Part 2 had them walking? What? What? No, they had legs? Wormers can't have legs, the whole point of them is being worms. Neato. Remember. Nico Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As staff from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now, we have dirt. Let's go. Oh, that explains- okay, so... This bacteria is mutated. It was made on purpose. So without, like, you know... Humans watching it and stuff. We weren't able to contain it and now that That mutated bacteria formed these pimples that popped out of them. I was right, dude. They are pimples. They're popped pimples actually Already popped <laughs> We have a little step checking in girly spot a quad. Thanks so much again for everything. That's cool and Total rage. Yo, you're gonna go head off. Thanks so much. Hey, take it easy. Appreciate you hanging out. Get some awesome rests. Yeah, <laughs> Robo Step, Robocop. Now that's a movie I haven't seen in a really long time too. Here, let's hack this door. For some reason we need them out of there, so let's do that. Wait, no, I need to be in there. Fuck. <laughs> I jumped back like a startled cat. That was awesome. All right, but they're not in there now, so let's just go around and go back. But don't feel scoop. See, hope it's going good. Girl, he's lurking. Yo. All right, so now that those guys are gone, well, let's go into this barrel. Oh, do we need to take it out? Okay. So I think the game's telling me that we gotta take this out. Can we walk in this one too? No. Alright, so let's hack the door. And get ready. Ah! It's on me! Look off! And where's the rest of his friends? How come this one's only here? I can't destroy him, right? Alright, so where do we need to- Oh! I think that one is still gonna be messing with me here. Oh, I see. Okay, so now let's climb up here to come up here. Uh huh. Got it. What's all this in the air? Radiation? Dust? Pimple dust? <laughs> Here we go. What was that noise? It seems like up is only space. Is there another layer to this? Kind of like an attack on Titan? Are we in the outermost wall right now? We're in the slums though. So if we could think of it like a, a vertical tiered sort of wall system, maybe. You squished him. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I for some reason thought that you were taking off too, seeing the response, but that was just me. <laughs> I quickly caught on, I was like, ah, oh, I see, I see. Um, I just don't know if I need to go down here. Here. Yeah. Run! Alright, so it activated this elevator thing, but let's get in it now. Shit! Oh my god! I didn't realize they were all coming down that way. I thought if I can use my Tycho fingers to tap B enough, I could have saved him, but we lost Topaz, he's dead. Fuck. 
Okay. All right, let's have a better plan this time. Now I know what to expect. We just gotta run around in time for that elevator to drop down. And if I could congregate them all in one spot or even get all of these little grubs to fall down inside this hole, I won't have to deal with them. And I'll try to do that. Victory meow! We got this! <laughs> <laughs> all right just gotta wait for it to come down they're all aggroing because of the noise just jump around a bit oh shit Oh no! Oh no! Not again! Take your time. I don't know if the elevator's gonna automatically go back up. Take me! Hack. Oh, gross. jammed. Alright, before I jump down, I'm gonna be careful. I hear them. I guess they live inside this whole building. So, if this bacteria is spreading, it's gonna take over the whole city one day, huh? An item? Transceiver? Oh, that thing was huge! How did it fit in my tiny backpack? Sounds like a clock ticking. Hey, we got it! So beautiful. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic, hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this cell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. Oh, you're not coming with me? I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. 33% of memories unlocked. Recovered. Uh, I don't want to go down yet. This is too cool. Anything fun up here? Any other sheep music? Let's see, we have... Uh, five, two, seven... Out of eight. And I know I've given him three. So five, two, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're missing like two more. Two more sheep music. Ah, there's nothing to do with here. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, the reason to go and check out the outside and be like, oh, if you're alive from there, that means that 
it should be okay to go up an adventure. Yeah, no longer astray. If we have a purpose. And a little bit of a dirty face, but it's okay. And we'll clean it later. This lungs part two? Oh, okay. Well... Shit. Earlier we had we had a stream, we had to restart the stream, and I'm wondering how long was that stream? Because I think it was about like five and a half hours. It seems like a good stopping point, even though it feels like I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? Maybe we could play a little bit of Taiko, because I feel like I'm not quite done. You know? Yeah, right. And this is around the time I would usually kind of like end out, but hey, let's let's play a little bit of Taiko, man. This cipher raided a little while ago. I'm down to jam some. <laughs> Sounds even better. Yeah, let's let's play some Taiko. But yeah, we'll play some more straight tomorrow. That was really cool, and it automatically saves, right? Make sure.